We're going to head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason before we head to break. Yeah, this is Tim from West Palm. I was talking about the Browns being too predictable, one-dimensional, running, throwing. It seemed how well the quarterback threw. It seemed like the defenders on the Miami Dolphins team looked like they were uh, already knew what he was going to do and were told when he was going to do it, and they were just knocking the ball out of everybody's hand. I think what the Browns need to do now is be um, unpredictable, and that would make them more of a dangerous team. And the special teams came out a little bit, but it seemed like once they figured out Ford could run the ball down their throats and make sure he didn't get it on his hand. So it seemed like the coach of Miami Dolphins pretty much had the Browns already figured out. That's why the Browns have to go back to unpredictable, so many change-ups. The defense seemed to be doing a great job, but they couldn't stop the run. Maybe because Miami has such big people. I think it was just an off day for the Browns, and thank you for hearing my comments. Go Cleveland. Woo. All right, as always, appreciate all the, of the voicemails. Uh, what about it? Do you think uh, they I, – I can't argue with the fact that it looked like the Dolphins had a pretty good idea of what was coming after that first drop – really after the Nick Chubb fumble. Right. Yeah, I mean, I, I thought Miami just – Played better. You know, they have some good guys on that D-line. Wilkins is a good player. I mentioned the DNs that they have. Um, and I thought the Browns' offensive line struggled. So it, it's hard for me to say Stefanski needs to be more unpredictable when, like we talked about, I thought the play calling has been pretty good overall this season. I think the offense has exceeded my expectations. Now, you know, when you get to late in the game and Brissett's trying to force the ball and it's one-on-one -on -one coverage and guys are making plays, yeah, it looks like they know where he's throwing it, but I, I think that's just, you know, what happens when you're down by that many points. Um, but I get the frustration. I, I just don't think, you know, everybody wants the Browns to run it so many times um, that, you know, you can't be that unpredictable when you try to run the ball.